Yo, what is up guys? Zorin here with another Temtem Rank competitive video. Uh, today we're going to be doing another uh, team. We're going to be doing using a different team this time from the last one. The last one was pretty nice though. I did make some modifications to it, so now it's running a Saipat. Uh, Saipat, that's what it was running before. An Ukama and a Arachnite on that team. But we're not going to be using that. We're actually going to be using a new team that I played a, like two games with on, uh, on my own time. Just to kind of give it a feel. Because it's something that I, I'm not used to touching too much, like temps that I'm not really comfortable with. So I kind of wanted to give them a go before I went into video, and uh, I gotta say they did really well for me. So, anyways, uh, this is the team. So we're gonna be running a team with Sanbi. I wanted to try a team with Sanbi, especially with all the buffs that it got, and same with Pokis. Pokis got a couple of buffs as well in terms of I think bulk. I think it did, and also it's a it's trait. Uh, dread alarm now works on alert status i'm not sure if it's working actually i actually haven't been paying attention to that um but if it does awesome because it's it's eight percent of their house just gone um just for them waking up which is nice so yeah zombie is here with dozing hit obviously if you don't know what it does it basically um if it's an effective or super effective hit the target will um be put to sleep for a turn so by effective it means like it has to be um times two and super effective by their term means times four so that's what it means that if, if it was effective uh transient echo zombie would be pretty broken but um thankfully it doesn't only it only works on, on super effectives <laughs> or else it'd probably be too strong but we're running one with actually with zero attack and mainly just bulk so i have 192 special defense here so, so this defenses are kind of even and it's running um just maximum bulk some stamina so can it get at least like three moves out before it runs out of stamina and then um just enough speed i think this puts it oh i, I always forget how much speed this gives but if if um this should out speed pretty much anything um at 330 like over 330 uh with transient echo and that's only if it doesn't get a time split off if it gets a time split off then it just outspeeds everything um because it probably puts it over 330 i i actually forget but yeah, that's that's um, what I'm running, and it's it's been doing really well for me. It's actually been one of the reasons it's been winning. Uh, I have purgation time spent in bamboozle. Basically, this thing can just set up on its own. You set up its time split for speed. You uh, um, purgation for to raise its attack. The reason I have no attack is because one purgation basically puts it up at max attack. Like if you were to have put 500 TVs into attack. So this is why I'm running bulk instead of um. Um, max attack because this just gives it a better shot at not only surviving but you really could just set up a purgation pretty freely with it if needed hypnosis is good but i feel like the time split is just better um well it's not that it's better i just feel like um getting a bit of speed control is always nice if you can get it and with the bulk it's definitely able to and once transient echo is up um, you just have a, a free 80 prior 3 move. You basically have a hasty lunge, a mental hasty lunge at your disposal after um, turn 2. So that's always nice. Uh, then we've got um, Sizar here. Oh yeah, we're also running double screen because to make it more bulkier. We have uh, Sizar here or Cesare. I don't know I don't know how to say it. I say Sizar, but it's it's probably Cesare. Um, here with just max bulk, max attack, nothing else. It's just basic, basic stuff here. It's already pretty bulky anyways so it can handle itself pretty well with just this 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 um thing you don't really need stamina because i'm running bait so this is pretty much what i run especially since bait usually won't be procced because it's slow so it won't be worrying about that then we have okama with redirection device um it's mainly there for you know obviously sanbi and focus so that's what uh, the redirection device is there for so in case we find into digitals we can uh, redirect it and kind of bait them in with that. Um, so Kama has a little bit of HP, um, a bunch of stamina. It only needs like a bit of stamina investment to get a bunch of it. I, I, I just like having a lot of stamina on Kama, and enough speed to outspeed uh, Hasty Lunge um, Gozies if I can, if I feel like I can um, one shot them. Well, not one shot them, but like if they're like low, low enough, then an Aquatic Whirlwind could, um, you know, sh um, take him out. And then. Um, just max special attacks. This is just very standard stuff. I'm running Blizzard to just um to have something against um, Toxics. Uh, there has been a lot of Toxics in the meta, so this could help. Usually I run Turbo, but this should be pretty good. 
I feel like maybe Nimble would be nice too, especially for like Zambi, but yeah. Uh, we're running Hazred here just for some level wave synergy with um, Ukama as well, and also Volgon, and also Neza. So um, we're running Purgation as well, just in case we want to buff something. And Toxin Shower, level wave, waste water as usual. Um, nothing really here, nothing fancy. Just 242 speed, not not the fastest strat, but I just want a little bit of bulk just so it gets a rough a little bit better. But yeah, it's also there for Tyranax in case we find into Tyranax or any natures in general. It's a really good time for that, but obviously it will most likely see bans if, if that's the case. Uh, we got Pokus here just to go alongside Sanby. Uh, slow down, better burst, gamma burst, time split as well. Time split is just something that I wanted to try out. Uh, they got buffed to give two speed and um, lower their speed by two. That's not just something I wanted to try out on it. And then it's just beta burst, gamma burst, and slow down with fake beards. So it's just a very hyper progressive uh, focus. Um, we got Volgon here with Thunderstrike, Electric Storm, again, Blizzard in case of Toxics, and Purgation. And it's just super connectivity as well because of the synergies that I would want in case I need to go like Pocus, Volgon, or um, maybe Kama Water Cannons, you know, stuff like that. Lava Waves, all that good stuff. It's always nice to have a Volgon. I really like using Volgon on my teams, as you would know, because usually a lot of teams have Volgon in it. And I really like uh, super connectivity. It's running Energy Drink, so it's hard for it to, in case I run into Mentals. And usually, you know, like how I'm running, they usually tend to put things to sleep, so... Uh, that's why I'm running um, Energy Drink in case of that. Same with Chamomile here on my Nezla in case I run into, um, you know, sleeping and I need it. That's another option as well. It's it's nice. It's got Thunderstrike, Aquatic World, Sparks, Water Blade. I needed another option for water and also an electric. So Nezla just fits the bill. It's both. So why not? I'm actually running it with Hydrologist instead of uh, Electric Synthesize. Mainly because every time I've used Nezla, I have never really had the chance to use electric synthesize it's it's a nice way to intimidate people because uh with electric electric synthesize because then people won't hit it with an electric move but even then most people won't even opt to hit you with a thunder move anyways it's like there's usually they usually have a second typing that deals with nezla like inky has crystal anyways um Amphitheor has plague uh anyways so it's like why why bother right so Hydra is just for the extra damage, you know, it, it, it doesn't hurt. So it's just max speed. Uh, 231 speed, I think my spread is a little off here, actually. This spread is not correct. I just uh, realized that this spread is not correct. What happened to my spread here? Did I uh, mess up my spread? Hold on. Hold on. This is actually not the spread for him. How did I mess this up? Thank God I, I looked. I've been... Beating people with this Nestle too. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. It's supposed to be... Um... Wait, how did this happen? How did I mess this up? It's not even close to what I have on... Um... <laughs> Whose spread is this? Whose spread am I looking at? Um, This is not the spread, the, the spread, guys. This is not the spread, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to fix this right now because this is not the spread. The spread I'm I'm actually running, which is actually hilarious actually now that I think about it, because it's it was actually working pretty well. But this is actually the spread. Wait, this is not it's not letting me put in more. Why am I stuck? Oh, it's because of this. This spread is something something went off on this. Because this is not the spread. This is the spread, yeah. 242, 318, 81. Uh, I'm confused what I did wrong there, but um, I just fixed it and this Nuzla has done pretty good wonders for me with that spread, so that's pretty hilarious. This is actually the spread. <laughs> uh, whose spread is, was that? Was this was, was this the right spread for Mudra? Yeah, Mudra has the right spread. So if I'm just a uh, special attack, 399 speed, 102 stamina. Uh, pretty much it already has pretty good base HP, so I really don't have to worry, but its defenses are always abysmal anyway, so there's no really reason to even go for its defenses. Might as well just make it hi hyper-aggressive. Uh, the speed here is enough, again, for Gozi to hit it with a, uh, with a Soil Steam. I, I, I like running uh, Refresh on, on Madrid over Dust Vortex, but I don't have as much sleep control on this team as much as as I usually do with when I use Madrid, so I'm running Dust Vortex instead just for more consistency in damage. And it's off obviously resistance for another yet another like 
Maola counter or something. But it's not really even a Maola counter because Maola kind of smacks it. But yeah, that's kind of the team here. Um, now I'm kind of worried if I messed up the... Okay. But I somehow gave my Nesla Volgon's spread. That's what it was. This is Volgon's spread. <laughs> Volgon had oh uh, Nesla had Volgon spread, which was working pretty well, honestly. That's that's pretty funny. Everybody else is fine. Is exactly how they should be. So that's hilarious. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the team. And so basically, we're just gonna see how it does on video. It did pretty well off video, so hopefully it continues that trend because I would I, I would like to climb. But <laughs> either way, we'll see how it goes, and I'll see you guys in the first battle. Peace until then. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start the first match and see how it goes. We're against Mr. Wick, Mr. Whiskey. Oh god, they have a Valier. Oh, Valier, 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 Valier. Valier is scary. Uh, Valier is scary because it can do bamboozle stuff and I don't like bamboozle stuff. <gasps> no, my Zambi. No, that was like the whole point of the video. Um, What do I ban here? We don't, we're not going Zambi anyways, right? Volfi is kind of a scary one here, thinking about it. Volfi actually is pretty scary, so I'm going to ban Volfi. Uh, Volfi is definitely scary here because I have really nothing to deal with it. Okay, so then he goes to that. Okay. I think his Volarin is kind of a problem here. Can we do our own Nesla? Right. Nezlo Hazred looks good here. Question mark. Yeah, right. But we kind of need Sizar too, huh? Oh, but I kind of have to do this because of Volarin. Volarin is probably going to come in. What sucks is I lose Sizar here. Yeah, see, Volarin comes in. Even though it's literally staying straight into a Volarin, into us, Nezla, it doesn't care. Uh... I think here I'm just going to ban um, Osukai. This kind of limits his, his switch-ins. And I could double in on that Volarin instead. I think that's... A pretty okay thing to do. But that Nezla is going to be a problem. Yeah, Nezla. He's 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 playing he's playing for a Nezla a Nezla game here. Uh Nezla is going to be a problem if I lose my rat. Hundred percent I'm going to have a big problem with it. We don't actually bring Pocus here either. So I have to deal with this Volarin, and then I have to deal with this, um... Oh, this is gonna be rough. In a way, I kinda wish I was a max speed... Max, um, max speed, um... Thing now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just go for this side. I don't feel like... I feel like he could switch out into, like, Valash or something, but... Oh, he's not even switching out, okay. That's what I'm scared of, though. Oh, he's Hydrologist, too. He's running a Hydrologist. Oh my god, that does nothing. Jesus. Does this even kill? Wow. That thing is just way too tanky. Yeah, now I think I lost. <laughs> I don't think I can win this now. Um, I have nothing for this Nezla in the back. Nezla kind of just sits on my team now. I didn't think he would stay in, to be honest, with that Nesla. But I do know this thing doesn't is hydrologist, so uh Inky comes out. Yeah, the hydrologist is doing work. 
Well, now I know it's hydrologist, so I can go for um, two hits on it now. Oh, I oh did I accidentally go for that? Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. That is exactly not what I wanted to do. That is bad. That is real bad. I kind of messed up there. I meant to hit the the whites. Ah, how did I miss that? How did I do? That? How did I accidentally click the volor in? I did not mean to click volor in there. Oh, I think I lost because of that. I have no way of dealing with Nezla now. I think I lost because of that. Yeah, I lost because of that. That's not good. I I, I could have actually brought this back because I just needed to take out Nezla. And now Nezla kind of just sits on me. Yeah. No, I lost because of that, though. That's not what I wanted to do. Wow, it's lived. That's hilarious. But I don't think we come back from this anyways. We have zero way of coming back from this now. We lost too many Thames in the process. Yeah. Oh well. Sorry about that, guys. I did not. I don't know how I hit that Volarin slot. I was going straight. I, uh, my my brain literally said to go just straight for Nezla. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate because I think I think I would have won. I think in that last match, I think I would have won if if I just hit the Nezla with both times. But for some reason, I have no idea how I misclicked because that was definitely a misclick. I I my my thought process was definitely not to hit Volarin there. I knew he was switching out Volarin. Because there, there was no reason for him to stay in with Volarin. And um, Volgon alone. And I knew Inky was coming. So, like, even, even if Volarin stayed, it wouldn't have been a big issue. Because um, all, I, um, all I needed was um, to take out that Nezla. And sadly, I somehow messed that up. Alright, so what do we have here? Um, I already see a lot of trouble on this team that I do not want to deal with. Uh, like, um, Urok, I guess, isn't that bad. Xenorith is kind of a problem, I guess. So I'll, I'll ban Xenorith. Just because it's kind of a problem. Um, I'm going to go Nezla and see if he goes to Rock. Nezla kind of... Oh, he's still going to go to Rock. Okay. Because I'm over here thinking maybe he won't go to rock because of it. Uh, I mean, I'm not really scared of the uh, of that thing either. I definitely bring rat because rat kind of takes out like almost everything besides the Varnshi. So I'm just going to play around rat here, I believe. I believe that's what I want to do. Just feels like what I need to do here is play around rat. Doing this lead again. That's the hazard, yo. Keeps coming. And then we're going to go ahead and go Sanbi. We're probably bringing Sizar into this. Just so I can have something to deal with that, um, kind of like somewhat tank the Tyranak, because you know Tyranak is Tyranak. I don't have Hydrologist because of that, though. Um, do we? Want now we'll do this, and probably Kino's coming in. Ah, Tyranek is still a menace in this in this meta. The trade thing wasn't enough. They needed to nerf its stats a little bit more. I'm going to stay S tier for a very long time. 
Outgrowth is just a really strong move in general, because it lowers your stamina, it traps you, and it's 100 base power and AoE. <laughs> I don't know, that's that's kind of strong. <laughs> I think something that, like, it, it's kind of weird that they allow Outgrowth to be that strong when Allergic Spread exists, exists for 80 base power and all it does is damage. So it's kind of hilarious when you think about it that way. Does he switch out though? That is the question. Does he switch out? I can see it switch out, but is it what he should do? So I don't. Uh, I obviously Water Blade doesn't kill here. I feel like I should just go into Zombie here. I don't think I go into um. And then I have to figure out how am I gonna deal with the with the with the uh thing in the back as well. With the um, Baba Wa. Oh, he switched that out. Okay. That's a weird switch. Very weird switch. Dumba goes into that. Bada bing, bada boom. Tank that like a boss. Now he definitely switches back out into like, what's his face probably. Probably back into... um. Is Tyronic what he switches into here? Probably is, right? I just don't see a reason not for him not to do that. Could also be Kinu though. Kinu or Pig Epic. I'm gonna switch into my rat here. And just go straight for a uh I think a time slit is good enough here, honestly. I'm hoping he switches out. If he doesn't switch out, that's kind of crazy. Okay, yeah. He switches out. I'm going to go for a time switch just so I can be faster. Yeah, especially on that. That's pretty good. There's the water cutting Lily. Cause see now what I can do, right? Is I can purgation my rat. Honestly, I could even I couldn't even toxic shower here, honestly. Cause now now that Kino's slower. I'm just going to go straight for Starlight and go for a Purgation on this side. Yeah, so I, fi I figured he'd switch out the Babawa into his Homelander. That's fine. So we're going to give it that plus two that it des so, so desperately wants to keep. Oh, wow, that's tanky. Considering that was plus two, that's super tanky. That's super tanky, wow. Uh, that's tankier than I expected, to be honest. But I think what I can do is I can Toxic Shower here and Time Spit the uh, Homelander. Because that w w what that would do is put me um, way faster. I should be faster than, than Homelander, even with Turbine. So I take away its speed, and now I'm a toxic. Sh I can just toxic shower here. And now it misses the uh, the rock fall, which is fine. Which is nice for me. Now I'm at plus four speed, right? Well, now this thing comes out. He probably wants to switch it out into his uh, pig epic now. So I'm just going to switch out. So what's rough is how am I going to deal with this now? It's even at plus two. I, I'm, I'm surprised that thing took it so well though. 
That must be like max HP, max defense, uh, Ginu, for it to have taken that so well. I mean, I could go for a wastewater here and go for another bamboozle. Because this will just ensure that I, I get the hit on this uh on this thing. So now rat isn't really needed anymore. I actually don't even need rat anymore. Oh, I still need it actually. Forget I said anything. I actually still need it. Um. What's stopping me from just toxic showering? Into a swap to Nezla. Like even if they double in on the rat. Yeah, I figured pig was. I figured that was a bait. That's why I kept it in. I stayed in. Like, Toxin Shower kind of hurts, but it's not that big of a deal. So now he's kind of in this position, right, where he has, um, big, but I can just, like, wastewater aquatic this side. Because he's in this awkward situation where he has to kind of, like, protect his, his, his thing now. Yeah, I'm faster too. So I get the uh wow that thing lived at two at two percent point two percent. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna matter. Sorry, that's not gonna matter. I knew you were going to I knew you were going to switch out. Sorry, buddy. I'm not dealing with that. I don't have to deal with that if I don't want to. And then here I just like I can just like switch out into like Zambi and then just Water blade this side. Honestly, I think he just loses. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna give him the. I'm gonna write the notes down, you know? Because at this point, he kind of just doesn't win. I can switch out into Zombie, then slow down his pig, unless I already slowed it down. I haven't slowed it down. Which is fine, I can always slow it down later. Take it out with a clean water blade hydrologist combo. And then he goes for turbo. Turbo's not gonna go off. I can just time split and then thunder strike and we GG. And we win. Let's go. This team is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Doing pretty well. Alright, my people of the youth and the internets. Um, it's another one. So yeah, you you see how powerful bulky zombie is. Like it's it's just hard to take out, and it's so good to um certain matchups. This guy's running full sweat season two team. Let's go. Full sweat season. Uh, I think Akronox needs to go. Akronox has always been a thorn on my side on every every team that I run. Got Duck and it's phase two. Duck is kind of an issue though. I kinda can't bring size up because of it. I kinda had to ban Akronox. Because it's kind of a problem. Kiala's is kind of a problem. Let's try this and see what happens. Let's see what he brings. Because I have no idea what I'm going to bring. This. this is the full sweat meta team from Season 2, basically. All the picks from Season 2. Which is hilarious to me, see that this team is still, well, still really good in the middle. Like you look at it and you're like, what the hell do I do, you know? Uh, there's that. Well, that's not 
that big of a deal unless that's bulky goalsy if it's bulky goalsy that's kind of a problem oh, i should uh, we should have banned um maybe i should have brought my size art i'm gonna ban this because i I'm bringing rat for to rat's kind of squishy though. It's kind of hard to bring it. Don't know. If I bring. I don't know if I bring all here. I think I bamboozled my my rabbit here. What the does have that thing too could always hasty lunch my my as well that's true but does no question does he i feel like okama the okama switch is coming instead but i mean i don't have a way to bring in so I'm just gonna go with it see what happens I should be faster than Gozi but if it's a tanky Gozi I don't think okay yeah it's gonna switch going to Gialis okay interesting works for me I get a free Gialis kill that's something that was threatening my zombie Yeah, we get the stone ball. The stone ball doesn't do anything. Now, does he bring Tulkan out? Question. Mama could come out, but now Aqu Aquatic Rowan isn't online. Tulkan comes out, okay. It could be bait. Oh no, it's fake beard, okay. That's good. Okay. Alright. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? All right, this is going to be the last match. Um, last one would have been the last match, but as you can see, he conceded. So <laughs> I kind of have to. Oh, it's Gil. Oh, no. I saw him around in the um, in, in the in the auction house. He's coming in Street Fighter style on me. Okay. Zombie so getting banned out right off the bat. That's actually going to call on his. But... Allah could be a problem. So is Gozi. Allah could be a problem. Let's see. We're going to ban Loali here. Mainly because the only thing I have is Hazrat for it. And everything else doesn't really care for Hazrat. So I should probably not even consider Hazrat in this one. I think everything else goes well into this team. Maybe I go on uh, this. Nesla Kamo? Because I don't think I bring Pokes. I'm gonna bring Sizar because Skolzy kind of just sits on everything else that come in. Size Munch would be interesting to come in. I'm super tanky, so I'm not really worried about Sizar going down.
I'm not really worried about that. It is wastewater. Water could be coming in. That could be a problem. Oh, ban this. Maybe I should have banned Golzi though. I just didn't have time. Wastewater. Yeah, right. Wastewater is coming. Wastewater do be coming. A water blade definitely doesn't kill it. We also don't know speed size much here. This could be pretty bad for me. I really didn't have time to make a move there. He does have Moala now. Moala, with Moala, he can uh, get, get wrecked no matter what. How to deal? I think I need to kill Munch. I think Munch has to go. No matter what, I need to get rid of Munch here, though. Hey. So, Wastewater definitely comes in, though. I think I just go into this side, though. I don't think a Thunderstrike kills the... Uh, ...side, either. It could just be a max speed um thing. Okay, that's good. That's real good on my uh for me. Yeah, that's fine. However, we are not slower. We're probably not faster than this thing, especially when it survived that. I don't really have a switch in anyway, so I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Let's go for a pierce. A second Maola? I mean, how you two? I have alerted, so that's not gonna. So I'm cool with that. He still can't bring monkey in, though. Monkey's kind of out of commission, right? Here comes this thing. I'm just gonna water blade this. And possibly just uh I might just let this thing go down, honestly. Actually I might need this out. Just uh well, in case it somehow live. Uh, the reason being is because Mudger deals with it anyways. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Just gonna go ahead and hit this with this.
hypnosis go off, which is fine with me. The thing is, I know my, my Nezla is my win condition here. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out to probably Volgon. Yeah, I'll probably switch into Volgon here. Oh, never mind. We win. Yeah, he kind of figured he was gonna lose. I don't think he had a way out. Very cool. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. We had three wins, one loss. I definitely could have won the first one too if I didn't somehow misclick the um the Nezla there. I think because you know with Nezla, Nezla's special attack is what 76 to Volcan's 90. It did about like 46% with that Thunder Strike. So if I was able to hit that Thunder Strike on that Nezla instead, that would have put I I I have a feeling it would have taken out the Nezla as well. Um with Thunder Strike. Um I'm not sure on that, but if it did live, then there was well, there was still hope, but it would have definitely been harder to win. But I definitely could have had a chance at winning because I would have to take out that Nesla. And I definitely would have won because uh, so, um, what's his face takes out of um, Cesare takes out everything else on his team. And Vol with Volorum being weak, there was no way to deal with it. So let's let's uh, let's quickly calc that way. It, it, it didn't look like it had any bulk investment from the looks of it. So Thunderstrike, I don't think it would have died. It says it only does 48% Green Nezla. Okay, so I guess it would have lived, but it would have been at like percent left from, from that. So a, a water cannon should KO it from Wukong. So as long as I KO it with Wukong, then I would have won. Because everything else was weak to Sizar. It would have been really hard for him to take out Sizar in the end game. Because he had real no real um switch ins for Sizar and uh, his, maybe his Valash could deal with it a little bit, but that's really it. With his Volarin at like low HP, I don't see how he would do that. But yeah, anyways, this team is definitely doing solid work, especially Sambi. Sambi has shown to do so much work with that time split. Uh, speed control is so so important sometimes and being able to as you saw when with that Torah being able to um, stop it from being able to find you just being able to protect your your teammate with bamboozle super useful don't sleep on Sambi Sambi is definitely be meta this season especially um yeah especially Bulk. I think Bulk Sambi is the go with that thing I don't even feel like you don't even need matter teleport anymore on it it's just transient echo is it of course, people, if people start running it that way, um, people are going to realize that and then they're not going to be run, uh, they're not going to fear it turn one. Just uh, keep a note on that. I will go ahead and I always forget. I somehow always forget this. Somehow always forget because I am dumb. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and um, share the code here. So I'm going to go ahead and generate. That's the code. So anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the competitive uh, ranked videos, please uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, peace out until next video. Bye-bye.